What's up, family? Let's talk about some uncivilized mutts. We got some clowns riding around in a vehicle. They're showing off their takings from robbing a 12-year-old boy who was selling chocolate. They robbed a 12-year-old boy family selling candy. Do you know how much of an uncivilized mutt, how much of a low down, dirty, riding scoundrel you have to be to rob a kid? Do you know how less of a man you have to be to rob a kid? Now, in the video, they showed the money they collected, the cash, and one guy showed off a gun. He said he took the gun and he made a comment that how are you supposed to be a game banger selling candy? So he suggested that dude is a game banger. <sighs> Don't know about the game banger side, but let's just get back to just the whole idea of a kid selling candy. Obviously, if he was banging, he had the gun for protection from people like the guys who robbed him. Sometimes you can have kids that are good kids, but they're out there, they feel like they're out there by themselves and they don't have any protection. You got the game bangers, they running around here, they got backup. You're all by yourself doing your thing, trying to do your thing, and mind your own business. But here they come. And so you strap up. You know, I can relate, fam. I strapped up at an early age because, you know, although I was good with my hands, I was very good with my hands, there were times when grown ass men would try to fight me. So, and I was good at whooping them. I mean, I whooped them with regularity. But sometimes these fools would have a weapon. So I got a weapon because they had a weapon. If it was just some squabbling or whatever, I, I, I just, I was pretty confident in my skills. But these fools started moving around with guns, so I got me one. So I kind of understand I understand, you know, where the youngster coming from and what some of the other youngsters might be coming from. I'm not saying that this is something, this is ideal, this is something they should be doing. But oftentimes you look for the quick fix, a quick solution. What's the quickest way to keep these people off me? You know what, let me just strap up and protect myself. Because a lot of times you don't feel like you can go anywhere. You don't feel like there's somewhere else you can go to, to find refuge, you know. And you feel like, you know, I go to this school, you know, what's going to happen if I transfer, just go to another school, the same thing, or have my live in this neighborhood, they live in the neighborhood, you know, I can't just move, I'm a kid. So what do you do? You can't run every time. And even if you run every time, you can't get away every time. It's, 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 it's very, it's a, it's a, it's a complex uh, situation. It's, very, it's not as easy as a lot of people think, and this is why we really should not bring children into the world and put them at a social disadvantage. We need to get that money up. I would suggest any of y'all out there who already got kids, hey, what's done is done, and you start from here and you just do the best that you can. But if you ain't got kids, man, don't you bring no kids into the world without getting that money up. Get your money up because these kids cost. And you don't wanna be that parent also that just live your whole life and every dime you got go to bills and the kids. You wanna be able to enjoy your life too. So, you know, the, the more you plan for children, you know, usually the more success you're gonna have with raising them. And a big part of that success is making sure 
You got your finances in order. These dudes who rob that youngster, I mean, they're pathetic. These dudes are the lowest of the low. They got to go. I know many of you have lost hope, but all we can do is pray that the universe correct the problem that their mammies and pappies made in creating them. ASAP. No more talk. What, what, what the ladies talking about?